Uh, but Oscar Sheway, the reigning yeah. National Player of the Year, announced today that he is returning to school, um, returning to Kentucky. Uh, he will be the first National Player of the Year to come back to college since Tyler Hansborough did back in 2008. That led to a North Carolina National Championship in the 2008-2009 season. Jeffrey, how are you feeling about Oscar Sheway coming back to school? Uh, great. I mean, great. If I'm Kentucky, I'm, I'm loving it. And if I'm Oscar, I'm loving it because I'm going to make a hell of a lot more money coming back to Lexington in the college than I would have had I put my name in for the draft and, you know, potentially not been drafted or even been a two-way. He's not a first-rounder. None of these bigs are, right? Kofi left. He was checked out at this point. He was checked out. He had done this twice, and, and I think he understood it was time for him to leave. Where – Oscar is going to make a lot more money too than, than Kofi would have made. Like, I think Kofi would have made a million ish, somewhere around there. Oscar's going to make $2 million. Think about that. He's going to make $2 million, and that might be on the lower end at the end of this season. You know, Kentucky was going through some stuff to try to figure out, and that's why it took a while here how to pay him, or not how to pay him, how he was allowed to get NIL money because international guys can't actively pursue it. They can't actively, you know, work. So it, it's got to be different the way they've done it. And, and that was kind of the hold up here as much as anything, but he's going to get paid and Kentucky has their big man back. And now the key is surrounding him with guys that aren't going to frankly lose to St. Peter's. <laughs> yeah, you had to throw that one in there. Um, we'll get into some of the specifics when it comes to NIL and, and the state of college basketball when it comes to things like this in a second. But I want to start with this. Uh, when you're bringing back the National Player of the Year, that immediately makes you a team that is right there in the mix for, for preseason national yep. title conversations, right? When you did your preseason top 25, you had them at number eight. When you did that for stadium, when you said that, was it considering him being back? Were you assuming that he was going to be back in school? At the I time? was. Yeah. Yeah. I assumed all these bigs, Timmy, Hunter Dickinson, Kofi, Trace Jackson Davis, Oscar. I think I'm forgetting a sixth. Who's the sixth I'm forgetting? There's, I think there were six. Hunter. Did you say Hunter Dickinson? Yeah, yeah. Hunter, I, I assume they'd all be back, to be honest, because, again, I don't think any were, were first-round picks. I think all were going to go mid-second round at best. And I think all of them, when they looked at it – now, again, I was wrong on Kofi. Um, but I think I'll be right on most of the other ones. Timmy will be interesting, too. But I, I just think, again, if you're, if you're Oscar and you're saying, hey, if you take care of this for me, and you get me to over $2 million, how could he possibly say no to that when ultimately the NBA feedback is going to come back and probably already has at this point because it's due uh, on the 24th. And they're going to come back and say, yeah, you're, you're probably a late second round or two undrafted. You're six, eight and a half. The NBA is not what it was. Yeah, you're a beast in college, but you can't really shoot beyond 15 feet. And defensively, that's the key is, is these guys, all of them, there's a reason the NBA is going the way it, it has. And these guys can't guard on the perimeter. They can't. Mm -hmm. Oscar can't go out and guard anybody in the perimeter. Hunter hasn't shown he can do it. Kofi's going to be a disaster trying to guard in the perimeter in the NBA. There's a few, few guys he can play up, play and match up against in the league. But they're all going to have trouble at the next level because of – Honestly, not their ability to score, their ability to defend. Yeah, I, I've so I th there was a couple conversations about this. You know, I specifically I remember JJ Reddick making a point about how um, he's frustrated watching college basketball because the, the the paint is clogged up and there's not as much spacing and this that and the third. Well, the sure. the thing about college hoops is that big men are suddenly so much more valuable at this level because they can't find a job at the the right. professional level. And now that right. that's their players are allowed to uh, be paid through NIL stuff and be paid through these collectives that all of these schools are putting together. Um, you can make more money if you're a big guy coming back to school. And at the end of the day, when you're losing all of these great guards every single year to the pros, it makes sense for a lot of programs to build around big guys. And you can win with big guys. David McCormick just won a national title. 
He was the best player on the floor in the Final Four. He should have been the most outstanding player yeah. in the Final Four. Kentucky, uh, Kansas just won a national title. But that's not him. why they won. But that's not why but, they and, won, yeah, but, Rob. But, but, yeah, but no, no, I get it. But my point is – You can win with them. You're coming, saying you, you can win with them. Yeah. You can win with them. They're more valuable in college, and it's a different game yeah. because this is where yeah. big guys can thrive in the modern yeah. in the modern game. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Listen, you, you can win with them, uh, but I will I will say this. You better have really good players around them, and that's where, again, David McCormick wasn't the featured guy on mm-hmm. Kansas. Oscar Shibwe is the featured guy, and for him, Kofi Coburn was the featured guy. What happened to those teams? That's the difference. It wasn't great to me. It wasn't great. That, it, yeah, that's my worry. You you can't make Os- Oscar Shibwe can't be. First of all, he was the only guy who wanted a rebound. Everybody else just watched him, and, and that can't happen at Kentucky. So it, it's going to be interesting to see who Cal pulls around him. You know, C.J. Frederick comes in and will replace Kellen Grady as a perimeter scorer, right? Shooter. You have that. Um, you know, you Reed know what Shepard's I think coming in. Sharp. Yeah, Reed, well, you Reed know Shepard's what I think coming in. Case of Wallace. He's gone, though. He, there's no way he can come back, can he? I mean, I wouldn't think so because, to me, I, I think at worst-case scenario, he's a top-10 draft pick. And and you, you know what I think of him. Like, I'd take him in the top – I'd take him fifth. And, and I'm not even <laughs> you, sure I'd let him Who are you kidding? You take him number one, man. You take him number – you would I, I take think, him over Kevin Durant at this point. <laughs> I think Shaden Sharp could be the best player to come out of this draft if he stays in it. I, I absolutely believe that. Absolutely. I do. I, I think his potential is that high. Um, so I think if you have a big time point guard and the, the problem with Kentucky this past year was, well, number one, Ty Ty didn't develop like we thought he would. Right. And he had some personal issues there at the end of the year, but he didn't develop because part of the problem was severe wheeling needed the ball in his hands so much. And I felt like Ty Ty was like Jamal Murray. He needed the ball in his hands and he just didn't have it in his, his hands enough. Wheeler was a non-shooter. So you could certainly. Now, again, they had a hell of a, of, of a year in terms of regular season. They did. They had a great year. But who remembers that now? You look at Hubert Davis and John Calipari, right? Look at Hubert, who is being absolutely lauded right now. And everybody loves Hubert. And John Calipari, who's being crushed right now. One had a great regular season. The other did not. One had a great – well, other than March 5th. Um, Hubert had a hell of a regular season. But – up until up until March fifth, he did not have a great regular season. Cal had a great one, but nobody's nobody gives a shit about that right now. All that matters is for those big time programs. All that matters is what are you going to do for me in March? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and to be fair, you know a lot of the issues Kentucky had down the stretch of the season had to do with guys being banged up, and Ty Ty had his ankle things going on, a severe yep. had a couple. Of, he he had at least one concussion, maybe another one. Um, Kellen Grady was dealing with some like so. I I, I don't want to put all. If of I was severe, Cal. hey hey, if I'm severe, I, I'm telling Oscar I want a little bit of that nil money because you cost me two <laughs> concussions. Yeah, you, you know, if call, I'm coming call back, out you screens. exactly call out screens, Oscar. I give me give me give me a hundred grand for each of those two screens that you didn't call out that I'm still hurting from. <laughs> 